Hey guys, this is Jen from JimmysDIY.com. Today I'm going to do a partial review and installation, cover the installation of the Ring Alarm System. Um, the reason I, I wanted to get this installed is in case uh, or while I'm not home, I want my house to be protected um, and uh, pretty much complete the uh, surveillance system uh, with the cameras, I, which I got done already. And then I have Ring Bell and then I chose to go with the Ring Alarm System because it's cheaper and ADT and Sloman and of course you don't need to have Sloman and ADT come in and uh, drill holes run the wires throughout your attic and stuff like that so this is the system here and uh, I bought this from Costco it comes with um, six window sensors which are also known as open close sensors um, it comes with a range extender keypad uh, basically a, a state um, basically ring station um, and then also one motion sensor so I went ahead and bought another motion sensor which I needed to buy uh, because I needed uh, to install two motion sensors. Um, so the service is basically $10 a month. If you prepay, it's basically um, $100 a year, which is fairly cheap as opposed to ADT and Sloman and other. Um, and then if you already have Ring Doorbell, then it's basically you're paying 30 bucks already for a year if you are. And then it's $70 extra. Uh, it covers basically alarm system subscription and also your bell subscription so um, um, let's get started and I'm gonna open the box and show you what's in the box so uh, let's move on alright so let's uh, open the box here um, and first thing you see it's the manual here um, and uh, I'm going to move it uh, under the manual. There is a base station, which is right here, which as indicated on the box. And then um, they have these um, basically uh, window sensors, uh, which are also known as open close. These are window sensors. And the good thing about the window sensors now, you can mount these with a, a double sided tape or you can mount them with a screw. Uh, they give you basically option um, and then it does come with the screws and anchors So in my box, I have about six of them And then the other thing is that So Anaya my daughter is assisting me with this project. Um, she's gonna be showing you um, This uh, is basically the range extender Go back a little bit all right, so this is the motion sensor here. Um, and again, this motion sensor, you could attach with the double-sided tape or you could screw in. And then also the other thing is they give you back plating, which is all the way at the bottom of the box that you can install uh, the back plate and then just slide this um, motion sensor on top. And then these are basically the tabs that they have uh, to activate the battery. So once you're ready to install, you pull them out and activate the battery. And uh, this is the keypad. So let me see now. So the keypad actually has a back plate that gets mounted to the wall, and then uh, you slide in the keypad. Um, the other thing is the keypad has micro USB, so it charges with micro USB. Now you could leave the wire connected here. They give you ample space, so you could run the wire through the channel and uh, take it down, or you could run the wire throughout the wall, but. Um, that's all in there so and then you have a power supply so you have a power supply let me see this is the power supply for the base station um, and when I'm ready to do so an eye is gonna basically connect this to the base station um, and then this is micro USB simple wire and a, a wall charger or a plug whatever you want to call um that's for the uh keypad all right guys so um we're gonna install the keypad here i had an existing keypad which i took off from here so anaya is gonna hand me over the keypad and i can i get that anaya give it to me so um can you do me a favor? Can you get me that small screwdriver from there? Um, so I'm gonna cover this hole. I'm gonna install this back plate right here, uh, one screw, and then I'm gonna also mark this side too, and then this way um, I have it here. 
Um, and then I'm just going to simply drill a hole here and then also install anchor. Um, so this way I could just install it. Alright, so I basically added another anchor and I'm going to mount the plate. Um, and these are the basically anchors and screws that bring provider ready. Um, so I'm just using those. Miss Anaya. What is it? Are you ready to install this thing? Yes, I am. All right, so it's fairly simple. I'm gonna slide in the uh, ring alarm panel, which is as is. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and install the next thing, which is window contact sensors and or a motion sensor. So let's get moving. All right, so I'm just gonna mount the uh, plate that uh, screwing in on one of the each side. So. That's mounted, and then I'm just gonna slide in the sensor. So before you slide the sensor, make sure you pull the tab out from here. And that's my motion sensor installed. And let's move on to install window sensor. All right, so this is the window sensor, uh, and then this is the other portion of it. So. I'm gonna put tape here, double-sided, um, and then um, I'm gonna install on the uh, smaller end right here. And then the bigger one, this one goes on the window right here. And let's get moving. So you wanna make sure that there is very nominal, like this distance right here in between. So it kinda makes the contact here. All right, let's get moving. All right, guys, so before I do it, I'm just gonna make sure I clean this area up so that the stickiness is better, the adhesive from 3M. Um, I'm just gonna use, I'm just using the uh, rubbing alcohol to clean this area up, that's about it. And I'm gonna let it dry. All right, so okay, it looks like looks like it's dried up. So I'm gonna stick this. It's very hard because I don't have too much space here. So so. Okay, and then uh, make sure you pull the tab out here. That activates the ring thing uh, system. And I'm just gonna stick this. And 
that's about it. So both are stuck. And there is just enough space in between both of them. So um, it's basically functional at this point. And that's about it. All right, so this is fully installed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to installing my uh, um, range extender, which is this. Uh, this is the range extender, so let's get moving. All right, so this is I'm in the basement, so I'm gonna install the range extender right over there. Uh, I feel like if I have um, half of the items upstairs and half of them downstairs, I'm gonna need a range extender in the basement, so I'm just gonna go ahead and install this here. the range extender and that's about it so and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to install my uh, base station which is the last alright guys so what I'm gonna do is next install this base station um, it should be fairly simple you plug in the uh, transformer and the outlet and then you're gonna simply connect the DC on the back right here And that's about it. <clears throat> it should connect. And at this point, you could do your ring configuration. Um, you go on the app on the phone, and then you could do the installation of the items. You're going to set up a new device here. Uh, and then you're going to set up alarm. So select your location. And then... It's basically saying you have your Wi-Fi ready and all that stuff, so. And then you press the pair button. And then you click on search base station and it's going to search your base station. And uh, you're just going to follow the process here on the app and it should be good to go. So, and... And that's about it. So if you like my video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel for additional videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one.